The Future Leaders programme is an inclusive programme in which students can take an active part whether they come from a sporting background or not. The aim of the programme is to develop skills and capacities in young people that they can use in all areas of their lives. Through the modules and various events that the students organise, they develop maturity, responsibility, initiative, well-being, inclusivity and a sense of belonging. The Future Leaders programme in Colossi Ciaran is a fantastic addition to our school and most importantly it provides wonderful, uh, wonderful opportunities for our students, typically in fourth year. As a school we're a diverse uh, school uh, community and Future Leaders year on year provides the opportunity for students, some of whom have GA backgrounds and many of whom don't, and it provides that opportunity for student leadership in fourth year. Uh, it is heartening and wonderful every year to see students lead out our whole school sports days and take on, I suppose, events that serve our wider community, for example, like GA blitzes and stuff that happen towards the year. And so as a program to promote student leadership, I think the, student, the Future Leaders program is a fantastic initiative within schools. Uh, and year on year, it gives students with talent the opportunity to find their leadership skills, to grow and use those leadership skills uh, to benefit us and to benefit the school and ultimately to benefit themselves. It's a wonderful programme. We are in Desh Post Primary School in the heart of Dublin 15. We, it's safe to say we always fight for students in the sense that we want more students signing up for our school. The Future Leaders programme gives us an opportunity for, for students to come to our school, see our uh, facilities. So it gives us an opportunity to showcase what we believe is our school at our best. And fostering those supportive links not only encourages students to sign up for our school, which is important, but it also helps to facilitate the transition from primary to post-primary. We're very conscious as a school community that has a challenging um, transition for a lot of people. And the Future Leaders Programme gives us one angle on making sure that that is more successful. The GA Future Leaders Programme is a leadership course in the GA context, as everyone is aware of. Um, but it's not just for people from a GA background. Um, here at Class Grand Crew, we were fortunate enough to be a pilot school back on uh, day one of this. Um, and we really embraced uh, the, the ethos of this programme, which is to give those students opportunities to be leaders uh, in the various areas uh, of school life and beyond into the wider community. There's five pilot schools, some traditional GA schools, like St. St. McCartan's up in Monaghan and Gort and Galway, uh, and other schools that were, were non-traditional, um, let's say, GA uh, schools like ourselves. Um, while yes, we absolutely, um, we feel GA teams here, we're very much in the middle of a of hurling country here in, in County Limerick, but our student cohort are, are predominantly from uh, backgrounds that aren't traditional GA backgrounds. So what was really important for us as a school was to, to fit the program to the needs of our students and make sure that they were getting the benefits and the many benefits that this program does offer. We're really happy with what it's done for our school community here because we're now six years into it and it's, it's provided so many students, um, both GA, GA, our GA kids and our non-GA kids, with opportunities to take on those leadership roles. Um, and we see how much it, they, they develop as people and what they bring with them into the, into the senior cycle, into that leave and serve space. Um, where they developed that bit of maturity, that bit of initiative to take on, um, you know, the, the needs and the, the serious demands that the Leaving Cert does ask of these kids. So I think the, the programme offers loads of opportunities for, for students, I suppose, from, from our own context who are not involved in GA at all, who have no idea of, the, of what GA is or the, the rules. Um, for international students coming to Ireland to study in our school as well, it gives them a chance to understand one of the, the main parts and games of our, of our culture and of Ireland as well. So it does give everyone, everyone, whether you're a GA fanatic or first time hearing about GA, gives them loads of opportunities. A kinta so the school show, find me Raim Shalahan the Yalti o Austin de Frula o Counter de Frula, agus Orinta the star ka Igimert, um, new of a round four took a gumlu glass goil, a kinta the school show thought dish treed on glor show kind of a round four, round four took a reach. Ah, it kind of it were a miller. So Lenar Glehi, the school show, being Dalty Dalkri Glehi, August Egg, um, Glockaport, Mar Statsori, Mar Green Graffadori, August Mar Coachala, um, Coma. So being Deshika Dalkri Glehi, Fos gonna blush a Glehi uh all ah in a role or a shni de frule. And so Shinan Rodas Desha doing a kind on on Desha in a word and Donor Nalti. The main aim of the programme is to include everyone. Um, there are modules that are kind of suit everyone's interests. 
and I suppose the, the promotion of the cross-curricular element as well really helps everyone to get involved whether you're into history or home ec or science or PE there's something there for everyone to get involved in and we've really found that this year that everyone in the class had something that they really got behind and got into and helped out in. So I suppose the programme is very good in the way that it gets everyone involved as a whole, like whether they're from a GA background or if they're not from a GA background, like for example, when we done the, the sports day or and went through with GA, we had everyone involved and everyone was taking part, especially in the future leaders' roles. We had people like setting up the bases on the day, we had people getting on paperwork ready and stuff, as well with the primary school blitz then we had people that were involved with GA could out and go could go out and do the, the ref and then lining the fields and getting the fields ready that day. And then we had the people that didn't want to do that, that weren't involved with GA. They could still get involved by, you know, organising things on the side like media and paperwork and stuff like that. So it really does involve everyone as a whole. So that's why I think the programme is so good. Like, so. Um, I liked the opportunity to work with my friends and how we could all just get included. There was kind of like, there was no job that was left out. There was no one who had nothing to do or had left doing something they didn't want to do. We all kind of were able to find our own and get involved whatever way we felt fit. And we all took something from it in the end. We all felt like we achieved a lot with the programme. Yeah, I suppose, like, for example, like the sports day, like, do you know, it wasn't just for people that do GAA, like, everyone was able to come out and enjoy the good day, like, there was chip fan, ice cream van, bouncy castles, races, the whole lot, like, do you know, so it was, it evolved everyone, like, everyone came out as a school, we all had a great day, like, so, I suppose it was, it was good to get everyone involved. Yeah, I suppose, like, the future leaders having it in the school, basically, is, like, was a really big benefit to everyone in the school, not just those taking part and whether you were GA or not as well, just even being a member of the school, we were able to benefit kind of from the work that was being done and just have fun and get involved in that way as well. Yeah, I suppose managing time as well is another thing that I would have taken back with training outside of school and stuff, being able to manage that. It definitely makes you like, um, more involved with the community, like our age group, we wouldn't have really any connection to primary schools or anything like that, but it got us really involved in like thinking about the younger generation, especially like with bringing all the GAA like teams like from primary schools to come and play blitz. Like it got us thinking about kind of the generations coming up and getting them involved as well. I got a lot of confidence from it as well, being like knowing that the teachers are letting us have that responsibility and like are giving us that um, opportunity to like run at a big event like that. And like, it was just really fun to do it. And even to see like how smoothly it ran and be like, oh, we did that. Like, it's just really rewarding in a way as well. Definitely for like stress management, like, you know, like when things get like very overwhelming, you find solutions to fix like the problem, obviously. And like, I've, I know myself, I've learned a lot of that this year. Okay, get a push or something. No, we were looking forward all year to organising the sports team. The day came, then getting all the things ready, like the same with the, the blitz, like, you know, it's important to do, like, get involved, like, because it, it really benefits you over the long run. Yeah, it's very, like, fulfilling, I'd say, for TY, because I feel like in something we could all put a lot of energy into, especially in TY when we had the opportunity to. And by the end of the year, with everything done and everything completed, I think we all took a lot from it in the sense that we were all very proud of what we achieved, like, in the year. Mm -hmm.